Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in today. This is Melissa from Kai's Case. Today I'll be showing you how to repair convertible top glass. I know some of you may have glass and some of you may have plastic, but the repairs are similar. I have also attached the links from Amazon of the products that I've used to repair our glass. If you feel like this information is informative and helpful, please like and subscribe to help bring more repairs to you. If you have any questions, about what repair was done today please leave a comment we will definitely respond to you if you have any requests for any future repairs please let us know we will definitely try our best in making sure those videos come to you thank you remember please like and subscribe so attempt number two of repairing this glass attempt one i ended up getting cut so gloves first it's a must Just checking the glass, making sure it's good. So I did end up getting cut here. It's very sharp from where the glass is separated. I will take you in a little bit closer. You see right here, where my finger can fit. That's where I got cut, but that's where the glass is not touching the top anymore. What I'm gonna use is some primer, the 3M single step primer, window well, with a corking gun, some hydrogen peroxide to clean the area, a razor blade. I was supposed to get a wool, I guess a dip for in here, but I forgot. So we're just gonna use a Q-tip. And we got some glass cleaner to clean just the glass itself. Also, it's suggested to get something to pull the glass up, but since I don't have that, I have some blankets that I'm just going to shove back there and keep it clean. So let's try to wipe the glass. Just want the, the area a little clean. cleaner the better all right i'm going to use a new razor blade instead of an old one just to prevent any cracking or anything broken okay i feel like that's a better view so you can see what i'm doing while i try to do it you can see definitely see the gap a little bit more okay so let's start with the cleaning up back there, avoid getting cut again because it is a pretty sharp cut. New razor blade. As you see, I'm being extra careful. So we overall know that the section that we're gonna, I'm just gonna put some tape right around it just so that when we put this bead on, it isn't too much excess that we have to take out or remove from the surface. So I know here, maybe I should mark it just to be on the safer side. So we know how much glue is expected from here to right around here. So what the primer does is basically create a bond so that the glue sticks on. So there is a piece of plastic that goes back 
on the top and then there's a glass that glues together. So the primer goes on the glass itself so it creates a bond to stick to the top. It is black, so be very careful. I don't I haven't found another color or anything to help. Every Definitely avoid the top if your top is a different color. Well, beige or any other colors. Make sure that gets in there real good. Alright. Let's move this away. Prevent any spilling. Let's change our gloves just to be on the safer side. I have the window loop here, it's super fast, so I'm gonna need help from Shazam. I'm also gonna put some tape here, just so we don't not get it on the top. Um, you want me to tape it so it back tapes around the edge of the top too, or? Um, no, I just wanna put something here, just so that it's not in the way. Oh, I need something. And Get the one I used earlier to wipe the glass on here. Okay, so I marked it. So I already put the primer in here. Mm -hmm. I marked it here to here because that's where we're spreading the glue. Mm -hmm. And we're just covering the top. This is what the tube looks like. I will put a link in for Amazon in the description, just so you know. The vice did get too hot while recording, but all we did was basically a thin line of glue from here all the way to here. It was a little patchy, but we redid another line of glue. Um, as you can see, it's getting a little bit a, a little bit tacky to dry. Be very careful if you do have a, a beige top, just because it seems like it would stain. And it just looks sloppy. Yeah. I, as you see, gloves are taking forever. So let's move this. Let's get the razor blade. And I guess let's use one of this rag and see if we can clean up what we could from the glass. Try to be careful not to cut the panel or... It also didn't show in the video that we actually put some blankets behind the glass to push up against to join the glass to the fabric. So there is pressure behind yes. there to keep the two pieces together. Together. Um, I can also put in a link what is suggested to actually hold the glass to the top so that you can know for just future reference. Or if you want, you could take the whole back piece out. It just unzips and unscrews from the if you do have a top like inside this, the trunk, of course. Well, think... all the tops are like that. Are they? But uh, this only applies to the glass tops because the other okay. ones, the other ones are plastic tops. So when I adjusted the blanket, it shows that it's dirty on the inside. If you want to bring the camera, so the glass on the inside is dirty due to me moving the blanket. And as you see, there is a tight bond on there. The blanket is there for the time, and I'm gonna leave it there for at least 24 hours. Just as if you were to put on a new windshield or anything like that, do not take it to the car wash. Let it sit for your 24 hours is what they usually give you. Yeah, and if you're in a garage, like this one, Inside. keep it in the garage. I'm gonna put some tape here, just like what they do. You know, just to be on the safer side, being that I don't have the, whatchamacallit. I keep forgetting the word. The little glass stop. Support? Yeah, <laughs> that is the better word. Just making sure, again. Okay, 
Sounds about right. Yep. And this will clean off. Yeah. With the razor blade once it's, or glass cleaner once it's all dry, correct? Yes, it will. Um, glass cleaner, or you can use hydrogen peroxide. Um, Ninety-nine percent is suggested, just because it takes out a lot of stuff like to repel from ninety-nine percent. Um, yeah, all this. If it doesn't come out, we can try some shaving cream or some tough stuff. And if it, oh, I guess I did get it on. So I guess we'll be taking that out with some tough stuff for shaving cream. <laughs> okay, so let's leave it. Let it sit. Don't think about it anymore. And walk away. <laughs>